Uh, good evening, everyone. <coughs> Said I'd come back and make another video after the last one. Um, had a stage two complaint meeting with Bexley Social Services the other day. Which, to say the least, was very, very interesting to listen to the comments. Um, <laughs> the crap suggestions that they made. Which I'm already very, very well, very well aware of, and just listen to their garbage and their spill once again was entertaining to say the least. How I held my tongue is beyond me. How I didn't punch the guy off the seat a couple of times is beyond me. Um, I hope you listen to this too. Yes, <coughs> I think I uh, maintained myself very well actually. <laughs> but it was good because it just showed what a bunch of fucking liars they really are. Pardon my French, but I'm just in a, a pretty foul mood at the moment. Funny thing is I've actually been in a really good mood the past couple of weeks. Um, so past couple of weeks. Mm, yeah, maybe week and a half, two weeks I started to pick myself up. Yeah. I spoke to a few people, some friends, family, and everything. And uh, someone had kind of lifted me up and reminded me of the person I once was before getting tied down with all the stress and everything over the last two years and losing myself and losing focus basically on some things. Uh, sorry, I just feel a little bit deflated today, guys, so I might find it a little bit hard to try and work this video together to make any sense, because I can't make sense of anything at the minute, my head's just a blur, absolute mess, and I can feel myself getting all agitating and uptight and welling up and everything as well. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm upset. I'm hurt. Uh, there's probably people that are angry, upset, and hurt by, from me, by me as well. Yeah, that's never my intention. I never ever set out to hurt anyone. You know, we all do stupid things in life. We all make mistakes. Sorry about that. <coughs> Everyone makes mistakes in life. That's how we learn. We learn from our mistakes. And we move on. You know, either rectify them and, 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 or you move on. Um, yeah, it's been a hellish, hellish, what we on, 10, 11 months now. God, it's nearly been a year, all this has been going on. I feel deflated, I feel drained with it all. I just want some resolve. Really, really want some resolve in this whole <sighs> fiasco circus. I just want to be happy, basically. And I just want people around me to be happy. I want my kids to be happy more than anything. So trained with it all. It's true. Like, it's easy to put a smile on. In fact, it's easier to put a smile on than talk to people about things. And God knows I've spoke about things to so many people. I've let so much out. I'm tired. Really tired. So much, so many decisions to make in such a short period of time, and I just can't do it. 
I'm just driving myself mad, man. It's going in circles. Excuse the bloom. It was my mum's birthday today, so we had a bit of a, a little shindig and a buffet and everything. Oh, wind down time. Oh, I'm not going to give up. I ain't going to give up. As much as it's taken everything in me and everything out of me, I ain't giving up. And I'm not going to let the social services get away with what they're doing. I've got plenty of evidence, as they well know. And I know they are very well, very well aware that I've got plenty of evidence. To, to put it <coughs> in this sense, a stage two complaint meeting. Um, I had two people present. Guy, I'm not going to mention his name just yet. And I'm pretty certain he will watch this video because I'm well aware that they have seen videos because he made a comment about several videos going on YouTube. Yeah, and like I told you, there will be more and there will be. So, um, <laughs> yeah. My smarmy, greasy git, mate. Completely smarmy, greasy git. But yeah, tried to threaten me a couple of times which was laughable, absolutely laughable. Um, is very, very well aware that I have plenty of proof and evidence that things that have happened in the last year to me and to my children or in the whole scenario involving me and my ex and my children turned to the, uh, the female that was an observer and said, we need to go, this needs to go out, doesn't it? To me, that speaks volumes, you know. When you have two social workers looking at each other in absolute shock and horror and telling each other that this needs to go out and agreeing, then that speaks volumes to me. You know? When the deputy director is scared to speak to you because they're well aware, you're aware of the mistakes they're making and the cock-ups and the lies that they're telling, that speaks volumes to me. And like I said, I've got all the proof and evidence. People think I'm joking, People think I'm absolutely talking shit and uh, what was it, uh, one of my ploys or something, the comment was said. It's no ploy, no ploy at all. This will all come crashing down on people. And like I said, I'm not frightened of anything that comes out about me or anyone else because the truth isn't being told. The full truth isn't being told. You know? I'm not going to sit here and say I'm an angel because I'm not an angel. I've never been an angel. I've made mistakes in my life. I've done things that I regret terribly. But uh, there's so much, so, so, so much that can come out. I, you know, I could write a book about all this. Complete book. And drop names and everything. And uh, this whole scenario could get really ugly, not just for me, for many other people as well. Many other people, it could get really ugly. And a lot of stuff that people don't really want to come out will come out. I'm not going to tolerate it anymore. You know? And as for the threats from the social services, oh, dearie me, what a mistake that was. What an absolute mistake that was. And the thing is, I have ace cards in my sleeve, just so you know. There's things you guys don't even know that I've got. And it's funny because during the entire meeting, when I was raising my issues, this guy kept trying to divert it back to my children, divert it back to my children. And said, I wasn't here. I'm not here for a stage two complaint to talk about my children. I'll deal with that in another way. I said, I'm here to talk about the defamation of my character, the religious discrimination, the conduct of the social worker and the other people within the building, etc., etc. And I kept having to bring it back to that because he kept trying to sway it back to my kids and he kept trying to sweeten up my mum because my mum was there with us. My mum weren't buying it. She weren't silly. But yeah didn't really want to talk to me, just wanted to sweeten up my mum, talk to my mum. 
And I had to keep telling him, I ain't here for that. I'm here to talk about this and what you're going to do about that. Oh, well, what do you want to happen? I said, well, this is what I want to happen. And this is what I want to happen. And this is what I want to happen. Oh, I don't think that's going to happen. I said, no, no. I said, and that's why I told you. I'll go, I'm going to go to the ombudsman with it. I'll take it to the government social ombudsman, which is exactly what I intend to do. With all the evidence, with all the proof, with all the lies, with all the videos, with all the phone calls, everything. And then we'll see what happens. I'm not playing games anymore. I'm not playing games anymore. And more and more people need to start biting back at these people and questioning everything and their, their, the way that they uh, <clears throat> conduct their procedures with children and families and everything like that because it's a, it's a joke. And I've realised that the more people that bite back or when you bite back or when you start to fight them back and argue with them and document everything that they're doing and everything else and keep track of it, oh, they don't like it. And then they all start running scared. None of them want to talk to me. None of them want to have anything to do with me. None of them want to send me emails or anything like that because they know I'm keeping it all for evidence. And like I said, it will all come crashing down. I told the guy straight, I said, there's people inside this building. I said, and there's many people inside this building that are well aware that things have happened that shouldn't have happened, that things have been done that shouldn't have been done, that there's certain procedures that haven't been done in the right way. And people have lied a lot, even the deputy director, which is why I've also now asked to speak to the director. So we'll see what happens there. Because I'll take it to the government ombudsman. I'll speak to the director and see if he's well aware of the uh, the ways his employees. So, so because I'm assuming he employs the people below him. Let's see how he thinks and what he thinks of their conduct. Conduct. Uh, it's, it's just a shambles, absolute shambles, and it actually just. It shows you how corrupt it really is and what absolute garbage they all talk, you know? I'm quite disgusted, actually, because if any of these people have got children and this is how they're treating other people and how they're treating other people's children, they should be ashamed of themselves, quite frankly, damn right disgusted. And I'm pretty certain, well, put it this way, if I found out that's what my parent was doing, or a member of my family was doing, I wouldn't be impressed, I'd be disgusted. Absolutely disgusted. And I'd have something to say about it. But like I say, I will take it to the government ombudsman with all the evidence, with all the proof. You know, and say, oh yeah, by the way, this guy uh, threatened us. And there's the gold, the ace card up the sleeve, mate. The ace card up the sleeve. Threatened twice. I'm not scared of your threats. Nowhere near it. In fact, it just was the icing on the cake for me. Because it just proved many, many things of what I've been saying for a long, long time. <coughs> you know, makes me laugh. People claim their innocence and their perfection and act like they're uh, a complete victim and they're not, you know, like I said, I'm not an angel, but I'm certainly a victim too. And I certainly have a lot of evidence of that, lots. And everything has been blown out of proportion and perpetuated because they've let people push an agenda and other people have fell for it hook, line and sinker and gone along with it and in the long run the only people that are going to suffer is me, them, our children, other people because social workers won't suffer, council workers won't suffer, the directors won't suffer, the courts won't suffer, the police won't suffer, nope. And this is what I tried to avoid and wanted to avoid, but no, no persistence. Everyone wanted to go down this route. And then once I started opening my mouth about things, people didn't like it. Once I started to tell a few stories, people didn't like it. And now the one thing that can hold against me 
or they can hold against me I'm trying to use it use it use it please do because I don't even know the half of it don't know the half of it you don't know what happened before what happened during what happened after why it happened <coughs> why anything happened really but there's lots there's lots there'll be another video again soon and um i'm just gonna i'm gonna contact the ombudsman first i'm gonna speak to the government social ombudsman and go from there and i'll see what they say then i will decide exactly what context i'm going to put in the next video what names i'm going to put in the next video what proof i might attach to that video i'll put in that video and evidence of things i'm not done i'm far from done this is just the beginning i've got a lot going on at the minute i've had a few things happen in the last couple of days i need to sit down and seriously think about and get my head round. Because it could be a good thing. It could be a really good thing for me. Something that's happened. It could really uh, change my life around massively. Not just for me, for my kids eventually. For other people in my life. I don't know. Let's see. Like, so I've got a lot of thinking to do. But yeah, so... Just to say, <coughs> brief video because, like I said, I'm uh, excuse me, not really in the mood. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but got caught up with doing lots of other things. And then today is my mum's birthday, so was it yesterday or the day before? I said I was going to do. It? I don't know. Whenever I said I was going to do the video, but yeah, I got caught up doing other things. And then today is my mum's birthday, so we've been celebrating a little bit. Um, I'm trying to anyway. <coughs> but it was just an absolute joke to stage it was pointless really it was point they might as well have just emailed me back when I said I wasn't going to accept the outcome because I knew it. the reason I said that is because I knew it was going to be a sham and uh, they might as well have just emailed me back and said well don't bother coming then you know just go straight to the ombudsman because that's more or less what the guy did they had no intentions in my eyes it was a damage limitation meeting it wasn't a stage two complaints meeting it was a damage limitations meeting yeah what they wanted to do was see if they could sweeten me and my mum up and try and limit the damage that i can do to bexley social services because i'm pretty sure they know well well aware that i could get a few people inside that building in a lot of trouble and if they don't appease me i will there's several people. Lucky for some, they're not there anymore. Unlucky for others, they are still there. And I'll still chase them and I'll still gun for them until I'm satisfied that basically they're held accountable for their actions and things that they've done and said. Because if I religiously discriminated someone, I'd expect all hell to break loose and to be in a lot of trouble. But social workers can get away with it. And social services can get away with it because people don't challenge them. I will challenge them right till the end. I don't care they're a big corporation with millions and millions of pounds or billions or whatever. I will challenge them and I will keep going till the end. And I will put everything out there to every single person I can think of or that I know that might have some sort of influence or be able to get some sort of influence involved, media influence or something. I'm not done. I'm far from it. And for the constant misconstrued crap that they're spilling, and for threatening me, and for lying, discriminating my character, religiously discriminating me, defamating my character, destroying my life completely, making me lose a really, really good job because of the stress of everything. Actually, I should go for compensation. That's what I should do. I should push for a bit of compensation. Because I lost technically a 30 grand a year job because of them. Because of the stress that they put me through. And everything else. <clears throat> so. Happy days. 
I will keep gunning. I will keep on gunning. <clears throat> I'm trying to get in contact with uh, a couple of people actually. There's a guy who did a documentary called Traffic, which was about the social services and social care. Uh, I know there's a couple of, uh, I've forgotten her name now. There's a woman who's doing one at the minute as well about child care services. I want to try and get hold of. Uh, there's a few. There's a few. So, anyone going through the same sort of crap, anyone dealing with social services or having issues with social services at the minute, my advice, emails, constant emails. If you've got phone calls, download a, a recording app on your phone so that it instantly records all your phone calls. You know, because it's an app and it records everything. Absolutely everything. Document all your emails, be persistent, keep chasing them, keep questioning them. Make sure you look into what they can and can't do. And make sure they're following the guidelines and the, 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 the right protocols and procedures that they should be. And if they're not, question it, hold them accountable for it. Because as soon as you start doing that, they start backing off and not wanting to have anything to do with you. Or having any communication with you, and I found that. I can't remember the last time I had an email from a social worker. For my children, I can't remember the last time I had a phone call from a social worker for my children. It seems that the social services, the police, the courts are collaborating together. That's fine by me. Keep on doing it. Because, like I said, I've got enough proof and evidence and everything there. You know, I'm still studying some of the law and the statutes and acts the legislation which um i found a very very interesting thing the other day that says uh oh god i'm gonna find it uh, and, and i'm gonna put it in the next video but yeah so basically all how many acts statutes and acts was like 800 and something i think it said there's like 800 and something statutes and acts and it basically said they're all deemed useless basically because of this thing i can't remember what it was I'll find it. I'll find it again. I need to uh, read up on a few more things. But yeah, so I'm in a somber mood. My head's all over the gaff. I've got loads to think about. Lots and lots and lots to think about. Still not seen my kids. Still not spoke to them. Oh, it's just a fucking pickle. Absolute pickle. And again, I apologise for the profanity. I'm just... Me, it's a mess tonight. Absolute mess. I've just started to feel like I was in a better place again as well. Like I was getting somewhere, feeling a bit stronger, feeling a bit more positive. <sighs> now I feel deflated and shit again. Oh, sorry. Because I'm so just I'm so frustrated, I try my hardest not to swear and stop all that rubbish. It's hard when you're frustrated and angry and upset and hurt and you know coming out of a big mess, I'm trying to find stable ground. And a um, million other things. Was that a million other things? A few other things. Plague your mind. And plague your thoughts. And oh. like I said, I'm sorry, guys. Me, it's just a, a point. What? Exploding, absolutely exploding. But yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it was interesting. It was very interesting, and to hear certain things that were said and the certain reactions from I don't even know who the guy was. You know, like I say, I think it was just damage limitation. Um, they told me they were independent. I don't think they were independent at all. Uh, I generally think um, that they all work together 
and help each other and advise each other. Because, like I say, that's what it seemed like to me, like it was damage limitation on the social services part. Like they'd sent someone in for the stage two meeting to come and try and... It, I wouldn't say brand knows me, because he didn't brand knows me. He barely even wanted to talk to me. He was spending a lot of time trying to sweeten up. I've never met your mum before. Man. No, you haven't. You haven't even met me, you knobhead. Oh, honestly, like... <laughs> Like I say, there was about two or three times. If it had been anywhere else, if we'd have been sat in a cap in the street, I'd have knocked you out, mate. Seriously, I'd have punched you off your seat. Lucky, lucky man. I'm so... <laughs> yeah, I find it laughable, like I say. It's, just, it, 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 it's comical. And it just, when you're in situations like this, and you see it for what it is, and you see how corrupt the system is and how dirty the people actually are, you start to understand. You know, when people are posting stuff all over media, social media and whatever else, putting these corporations and these companies down, and these services and the police and everything else. No, I'm not going to sit here. I've actually had a conversation with a police officer recently a couple of times, and he's a lovely, lovely gentleman, very sincere. You know, he's probably one of the first police officers I've met in a long time that actually generally seems like he wants to help and sympathises with the whole situation and understands it. Very far and few between, there's not many. There really isn't many. And the way that they're training the police officers nowadays isn't like it used to be. Law is not law anymore. Things are changing rapidly and if people don't start standing up and noticing it and, and biting back and challenging these things, uh, we are going to be in so much trouble. And it's not even, it's not even I say we, people, my generation... It's not even about us anymore, it's about our children. Our children's ain't gonna our children won't have a future. Our children won't have a life. It's sad. It's really sad. But if people don't start standing up to these numpties and biting back and testing them, it's only gonna get worse. It's absolutely shocking. Oh, anyway. So, yeah, I've got it all anyway. It's a joke. Absolute joke. My head's pounding, thinking too hard, too hard. <sighs> Here I am, I'm supposed to be a Christian, I'm supposed to be all forgiving and... Is I, I, I have the moments where I'll get angry and upset and what and frustrated and I'll swear and I'll say things and then two minutes later I think about it and I think I don't actually mean that. You know? And I know these people are only doing what they're paid to be doing in a sense. They could be doing it a bit differently maybe. But you know everyone has quotas and targets to meet in work and I don't know, some people it's a detachment in it, some people detach detach themselves from that. I couldn't do it. I could not do that job 
and detach myself from human beings and children and uh, you know, other people and for the sake of numbers and money and everything else. Just couldn't do it. But I do get it. I understand it's hard. And, you know, the funny thing is, is deep down in my heart, I can off generally say I forgive them to an extent because that's what being a Christian is all about, forgiveness and love. But then in the same breath, when you're in this situation and you come from the background I've come from, you've experienced the crap that I've experienced over the years, sometimes it's a little bit hard. And sometimes, you know, worldly things and the flesh can get the better of you. <clears throat> Well, anyway, I will um, leave it there. I'm not going to add any links or anything to this video. Like I say, guys, I'm really sorry. I just haven't got the head for it tonight. There's so much going through me and through my mind. I spoke to the ombudsman. Yeah. Found out what they think I should do and how I should go about things and what I can and can't say and what I can and can't put in a video. The next video will be the bombshell. Believe me, the next one is going to be the bombshell. And as I've said in previous videos, I will probably embarrass myself and shame myself a little bit. Maybe a lot. But tenfold there's going to be a lot of other people that are going to feel a lot more embarrassed and shame than I am I won't hold back I will not hold back it's coming it's coming Fire burning, just burning up to the fuse, ready to explode. <clears throat> Only thing is, is everyone knows where I am. Everyone has my number. Is my phone ringing? No. Is anyone saying anything to me? Nope. I've been in the area a few times. Does anyone come see me? Nope. Need I say any more? I've said you want to talk to me, you know where I am, you want to say something, you know where I am, you got my number. Waste. Absolute waste. Fingers that don't have to be that don't have to be like this, don't have to get like this. But <clears throat> wrong people have been uh, able to influence certain things. Like I say, push an agenda. Crack on. Tired. I said I wasn't going to be backed into a corner. I got beat down several times. I tried to, attempted to take my own life. You know, I'm really struggling with fucking anxiety. I've done it again, I'm sorry. Struggling with anxiety and things. 
I'm angry, I'm upset, I'm hurt, I'm frustrated, and there's so many emotions going through me constantly, it's hard to maintain. And it's not easy. It's hard not to break down sometimes and just... Like I say, past couple of weeks, I've been in a much better place. And that's where I'd like to stay, really. I'm done. I'm really done tonight. So, guys, the bomb is coming. The bomb is coming. Just a little bit more time, a little bit more info, a little bit more advice. Contact the ombudsman. Drop a few bombshells on them. Show them a few bits of evidence and everything else. Talk to them about the stage two complaints meeting and what was said there. And then we'll see what happens. And then we'll see if it will be just a tiny little bomb or a Hiroshima. And we'll go from there. Anyway. God bless guys, everybody take care. Keep strong in faith. If you haven't already and you're struggling, go to a church, read the Bible, listen to some audio Bible or some scripture. It helps. Turn to Jesus because he loves you guys and he will help. As much as people don't think so and deny it, it certainly comforts me when I really need it. And I'm pretty certain the blood of Jesus. And I'm pretty certain he helps many, many others. And comforts many, many others. Oh, I'm gonna leave it there. Pour myself another glass of wine. Have a cigarette. I gave up a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks back. I stopped smoking fags. <coughs> Went a little while and then something tipped me over the edge. And I just was like, I need a cigarette. And I walked to the shop, bought a packet of cigarettes and I'm joking. The yeah, ass is about five minutes walk. I smoked two cigarettes by the time I'd walked from the shop back home. Flicked the second one outside the front door, walked in, made myself a coffee, went straight in the garden and then lit up another one. I'd literally three fags in about 20 minutes. It was bad. But stress, it's amazing what stress can do to you. It really is. The feelings that it can conjure up inside you and everything else. Oh yeah. Anyway guys, like I say, <clears throat> we will see. Is there a bombshell coming? A big one? Is this mess going to get sorted out very soon? I hope so. Am I going to see my children very soon? I hope so. I generally, generally pray to God I hope so. Because I miss them like mad. And it hurts. It really hurts. It really hurts. God. Oh, guys. Take care. Good night. God bless. Bye bye.